Electrophilic addition involves two reactants. An alkene, whose double bond is rich in electrons and is thus nucleophilic. And an electrophile, that will attack pi bond electrons in the alkene double bond. We'll use hydrogen bromide as an example. Ultimately, they will react to form an alkane. This reaction takes place in two steps and is exergonic overall. So what are the mechanisms? One reactant is a potential electrophile. Because the bromine atom is electronegative and attracts electrons, it causes a partial positive charge on the hydrogen atom to which it is bonded. The hydrogen is thus electrophilic. Remember that a double bond contains one sigma bond and a weaker pi bond. Weaker because their orbitals do not overlap. These pi electrons are thus attracted to the partially positive hydrogen atom in the halide molecule and are able to form a stronger sigma bond. Because an electron has been removed from the adjacent carbon atom, the carbon atom becomes positively charged. This is called a carbocation. Meanwhile, this hydrogen has one too many bonds and a pair of electrons transfers to the bromine atom to form a bromide ion. This is the first and slowest step of the electrophilic addition reaction. This step gives rise to a carbocation intermediate as well as a bromide anion. The bromide ion is now a suitable electron donor for the carbocation. The molecule is neutralized and an alkane results as the final product. This concludes the last and faster step of the reaction.